creative destruction, both within our society and abroad, foreigners seeing America undo traditional societies may fear us, for they do not wish to be undone. Amazingly, Ladine continues, they must attack us in order to survive, just as we must destroy them to advance our historic mission, close quote. If those words don't scare you, nothing will. If they are not a clear warning, I don't know what could be. It sounds like both sides of each disagreement in the world will be, follow, will be following the principles of preemptive war. The world is certainly a less safe place for it. In Machiavelli on Modern Leadership, Ladine prays as a business leader for correctly understanding Machiavelli. Quote, there are no absolute solutions. It all depends. What is right and what is wrong depends on what needs to be done and how. Close quote. This is a clear endorsement of situation ethics and is not coming from the traditional left. It reminds me of, it depends on what the definition of the word is, is. Ladine quotes Machiavelli approvingly on what makes a great leader. Quote, a prince must have no other objectives or other thoughts or take anything for his craft except war. To Ladine, this meant, quote, the virtue of the warrior are those of great leaders of any successful organization. It's obvious, that, and that's close quote, it's obvious that war is not coincidental to neocon philosophy, but an integral part. The intellectuals justify it and the politicians carry it out. There's a precise reason to argue for war over peace, according to Ladin. For, quote, peace increases our peril by making discipline less urgent encouraging some of our worst instincts in depriving us of some of our best leaders. Peace, he claims, is a dream and not even a pleasant one, for it would cause indolence and would undermine the power of the state. Close quote. Although I concede the history of the world is a history of frequent war, to capitulate and give up even striving for peace, believing peace is not a benefit to mankind, is a frightening thought that condemns the world to perpetual war and justifies it as a benefit and necessity. These are dangerous ideas from which no good can come. The conflict of the ages has been between the state and the individual. Central power versus liberty. The more restrained the state and the more emphasis on individual liberty, the greater has been the advancement of civilization and general prosperity. Just as man's condition was not locked in place by the times and wars of old and improved with liberty and free markets, there's no reason to believe a new stage for man might not be achieved by believing and working for conditions of peace. The inevitability and so-called need for preemptive war should never be intellectually justified as being a benefit. Such an attitude guarantees the backsliding of civilization. Neocons unfortunately claim that war is in man's nature and that we can't do much about it. So let's use it to our advantage by promoting our goodness around the world through force of arms. That view is anathema to the cause of liberty and the preservation of the Constitution. If it is not loudly refuted, our future will be dire indeed. Ladine believes man is basic evil and cannot be left to his own desires. Therefore, he must have proper and strong leadership, just as Machiavelli argued. Only then can man achieve good, as Ladine explains, quote, in order to achieve the most noble accomplishment, the leader may have to enter into evil. This is the chilling insight that has made Machiavelli so feared, admired, and challenging. We are rotten. It's true that we can achieve greatness if and only if we are properly led. Close quote. In other words, man is so depraved that individuals are incapable of moral, ethical, and spiritual greatness, and achieving excellence and virtue can only come from a powerful authoritarian leader. What depraved ideas are these to now be influencing our leaders in Washington? The question Ladine doesn't answer is, why do the political leaders not suffer from the same shortcomings?